The RV Show USA is brought to you by Flagstaff, building better RVs, making smarter RVers. Walk us through the construction process, if you would, Dwayne. Uh, describe what we will see if we go on a plant tour. So uh, the frame would come in, the steel frame would come in the back um, of the production line, come in, and the first thing we do is put axles on, uh, and then we put the holding tanks on. And the axles, the bolts are torqued to a certain um, amount of foot, foot, foot pounds. Uh, the wheels are put on and, and set to a, a certain, uh, they're not torqued to spec at, in, in the floor department mm-hmm. uh, because then they'll get torqued as up, uh, the production line by several people. By the time it goes out the door, uh, the person pulling it out the door will torque it for the last time to the perfect spec. But um, and then the axles, the wheels get put on, um, and all that's done with hoist. So it's it's down on the floor. Then sitting on the floor on the wheels, uh, we put holding tanks in, um, hook up all the holding tanks, the plumbing, that the termination plumbing, and then we roll it over a station and we flip it upside down. Um, and we put underbelly on. Uh, that procedure varies from from uh, plant to plant in the industry. Some people do that reversed. Um, but then after that, the floor gets set. Um, and then from there, the interior the flooring, wall. Let me, I'm so, sorry to interrupt, but real quick, the flooring is not just a, a particle board. It's tongue and groove, isn't it? Marine grade. Correct. Correct. Ours is a uh, aluminum frame floor. The the floor joists are aluminum frame are aluminum tubes. Uh, we don't use pine there like a like some people do. Um, mm-hmm. But then we also use a tongue and groove um, plywood, marine grade plywood that, that goes on there. Um, and then we put um, we set the floor, put linoleum on, um, and then we have uh, plumbing holes in the floor already. We do that when we when we build the floor. Um, and then we, the, the interior walls, the cabinets get set. Um, the cabinets, the interior walls get screwed to the floor. The cabinets just kind of get tacked until the, the exterior walls are on, but then it rolls up. All the plumbing gets hooked up. Um, and then it rolls on up the line. The, the, um, walls, exterior walls get set, um, put in place. And then right after that, the, um, I got to ask you again. I'm sorry, but the exterior walls. I find that process to be pretty interesting because they're actually you've got aluminum for the studs in the walls and not wood, and that's in all the sides of your RVs, right? That's Correct. a big. That's a and big it, deal. It is, and and it's an aluminum or it's a, a laminated product. So um, those are all done. The, the walls are all laminated, welded, and laminated in our lamination facility. And then they get shipped down to the production line. Um, then we put them on the floor chassis. Um, and then after that, we, we uh, install the cabinets, uh, make sure everything, the overheads, the base cabinets are all screwed in. Um, and in my two production lines, we then put the roof on after that. Um, and then we wire the whole coach with for all the electrical. Talk to um, me. We about the roofing, are, though, talk to me before we go into the, all the electrical stuff. Talk to me about the roofing because I find that also very fascinating. How how it's put together, you know, you can see it when you go on the plant tour. You can see the aluminum frame, and you can see the insulation. And talk with me a little bit about that because your roofs are one piece. Uh, so I'll teeing it up for you. Run with it. Um, so the roofs are are a one piece laminated roof, um, and they they're domed. So they have a, our lamination process actually puts it on a mold to, to get it to the right dome. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're domed. They're, they're a very solid roof. They have, um, wire channels in them. They route wire channels in the, in the foam, in the roof. And then we push wires through the channels, um, to wire our coach for all the lights, anything in the overheads. Um, we do have some wiring in the walls, but very little. Uh, most of our wiring is done, um, either in the chassis or in the roof or through cabinets. Right. Um, and then we, uh, from there, we, it goes into our roof scaffold um, where the roof gets screwed down. The cabinet gets, cabinets inside get screwed to the ceiling. Um, and then we uh, prep everything, get it ready for rubber roof. 
and then it rolls up. We put rubber roof on, put all the roof components on, uh, the air conditioner, the the antennas, the vents, max air vents, reefer vents. Uh, by reefer, I mean refrigerator. Um, uh, then it rolls on up, and, and it basically gets what we call plugged. Um, all the windows openings, we put windows in all the openings, the trunk doors, the entrance door, uh, slide out gets put in at that point. Uh, and set to to make sure it runs white right. We run it a couple times there, and then um, from there it gets um, our water test. So we flood test our unit uh, from the we fill the tanks up, make sure all the plumbing there's no leaks, there's no we check all the peat traps. Uh, we air test. Well, we run um, water through all the water lines. And this is done on every also, RV, every one of them. This is done on every single RV. Good. Um, and the water sits in the tanks for uh, roughly 20 to 30 minutes just to make sure that if there's a slow leak that it will get caught. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, from there, we drain we drain the water there, and then it, it um, we run – we make sure we run water through all the water lines. We air test the water line um, to make sure it holds air for a certain amount of time. Uh, And then from there, it goes into kind of the the fit and finish area of the shop. And it's, um, we do the interior fit and finish, um, trim, batten. Um, Then the exterior, we put uh, the decals on the exterior. Um, We caulk, all the exterior caulking is done uh, after the striping's on, the decals are on. Um, and then your, your leak testing is what, uh, it, what fascinated me is when you actually kind of pr- almost pressure testing, you're pushing pressure inside of the RV to look for leaks. Describe what y'all do there. Yes. Um, up in our, just before it goes out the door, we, we test it for, we, we it's basically a big fan that hooks up to our, our entrance door. We have a, a sort of a door that has a big opening in it and it's just a big, circular tube going in there and it blows air into the unit. Um, and we set that at a certain CFM, uh, it blows air into the unit. And then we walk around the outside of the unit and we spray all, all openings all around all the windows, trunk doors, anything where there's penetration into the coach, we spray with soapy water and to make sure we don't have any leaks. Um, and if it, if it does leak, it, it bubbles. Um, Mm -hmm. And then we know that there's somewhere there, there's air coming through. So these these coaches are built pretty airtight. The RV Show USA is brought to you by Flagstaff, a division of Forest River, building better RVs, making smarter RVers.